Hey everybody, I'm Christopher Green. You're watching AMTV, Alternative Media Television. And something that was just brought to my attention moments ago, I didn't know about until now. I was just funneling through some of my personal emails. I'm not sure if you guys are aware of this. And I just got an email from my credit union, which says this. Federal Reserve to start processing ACH payments for immediate withdrawal. Just kind of looking at that like, what? Federal Reserve to start processing ACH payments for immediate withdrawal starting September 15th, just in a few days, 2017. On a Friday. Huh. Convenient, too. So what's happening? It says, Dear Christopher, beginning September 15th, 2017, this Friday, the Federal Reserve will start processing most ACH debits also known as electronic payments, on the same day that the transactions are made. So effectively, immediate withdrawal. Normally, when you process a transaction in order to protect the customer account, it takes like two, three days for it to process, right? If you pay a bill, you're paying a utility bill, or you're receiving payment, or you're receiving a check, unless they manually clear it, right? I used to work in a bank, so this raises an eyebrow to me. I find this very, very curious that the Federal Reserve is implementing this brand new po policy. At the same time, on September 11, 2017, just yesterday, we eclipsed $20 trillion on the national debt. Jamie Dimon just came on camera today and said, Bitcoin is a fraud and will eventually collapse. And there's all this pressure building as the Dow Jones Industrial Average has gone vertical over the last 10 years on egregious fakery, bailouts, 0% interest rates, funny money, and just a flat-out scam in order to rip off the American people post the engineered collapse. Let me continue to read this here to you, and maybe some of you can corroborate this from the bank statements and emails you might be getting as well. This means that some of your payments could come out of your account faster than they have in the past. And then it goes on to tell me how to avoid overdraft charges and says three tips to be prepared. You remember when Cyprus did a bail-in not too long ago? They just took money out of people's accounts to bail out the government? be interesting if they did that here, wouldn't it? Just woke up one morning, stock markets collapse. It's the end of the world. Remember we saw George W. Bush? We need your money, folks. Uh, Obama, we need your money. We need your bailouts. Otherwise, these bankers are, like, the world's going to come to an end, they told us. And then they scammed us out of trillions of dollars. They've done it once. Why can't they do it again? Now, in Cyprus, that's exactly what they did. And this is the next level. This is the next stage. Where they don't even raise the debt. They'll keep, they'll keep raising the debt ceiling, right? We'll, we'll keep eclipsing $20 trillion plus. But what they're going to start doing is just stealing your money straight from your bank account, which is what this message appears to indicate. Now, for those of you that don't think this is possible, remember the Cyprus bail in in 2013, where the government of Cyprus just flat out stole money out of customer accounts to pay for the shenanigans of its own government. Just another crony bankster scam. So it raises an eyebrow to me, especially as a formal, formal, former, formal, former investment advisor. It just doesn't even make sense. There's a reason why they have a two or three day period it's to protect the account itself from fraud. So why would the Federal Reserve be implementing this radical new policy to make sure that they can clear funds immediately, even if it's against your will? Now, for those of you that think none of this can happen, remember John Corzine, former head of MF Global, did this actually at his company. He literally took his hand and pulled money out of the customer accounts post-2008-2009 because some of his bad bets that he had made with the bank was driving the company into bankruptcy. Now, he got off the hook because, of course, he's a best friend of Barack Obama and donated 
millions, tens of millions of dollars to the Obama administration campaign and also the Democratic Party. It says plan for immediate transactions, know your balances, and then be aware of different kinds of ACH debits. But prepare for immediate transactions and potentially immediate withdrawals out of your account. This is incredible. Now, for those of you that don't know what ACH stands for, it stands for Automated Clearinghouse, which is an electronic network for financial transactions in the United States. Processes large volumes of credit and debit transactions and batches. So just commonly how you pay bills and that kind of thing out of your checking account. Why do they need to do this? And why do they need to do it now? Again, we are all we all know we're dancing on eggshells. We know that this thing is going to collapse. The stock market's down 230-ish points today. It was down almost 250 points on the revealing of a brand new iPhone that's $1,000. Oh, it's just such good news. And, and, and the c- catastrophe that made up Hurricane Harvey is just such good news. It's, it's only going to cost $100 billion, not to mention whatever Irma is going to cost. Not to mention that we just eclipsed $20 trillion on September 11th on the national debt 2017. What did Donald Trump say before he got elected? It's a bubble. Believe me, it's a bubble. Believe me, it's going to pop. Believe me, that's what he said. It's going to crash. Don't buy stocks. It's the end of the world is pretty much what he said. When he got in there, he changed his tune. He's like, hey, look at me. The market's up. I'm responsible for it. Kind of switched tune. This is very, very scary. And again, this action by the Federal Reserve, of which did any of us vote on? I know I didn't. It's, it's very eerie to know that a transaction can now come out of your checking account immediately. That means the government can just stick their hand in, take whatever they want, and be like, whoops, sorry. When there's the delay of two, three days or whatever it is, that would allow the people to actually react. If you got any kind of sneaking suspicion, for example, that there was going to be a bank run or something like that, where the government was going to do a bail-in and steal from you outright, people might take action. But not if they don't have time to take action. So to me, this really is just flat out suspicious. Honestly, it does not protect the customer. It all doesn't protect you. Who it protects is the Federal Reserve. So get this message out there. I think it's something that I didn't even know about this until now. People are overlooking. I'd like your comments question in the box below. With the Federal Reserve to start processing ACH payments for immediate withdrawal starting this Friday, September 15th, 2017. Get it out, hard hitting and in your face. I'm Christopher Green.